Hello, welcome back. Uh, well, I know this is supposed to be the last uh, uh, the video tutorial for the uh, Django Python Django de uh, application de development, uh, but because of the the content we need to cover is actually I want to cover is a lot more than <laughs> a nine segment can uh, present. So uh, I have revised the plan. So the the plan what I'm going to do instead of nine total uh, tutorial segment uh, video tutorial segment I'm going to actually make it a 12 so uh, this this will be the nine out of the, the 12 the ninth one is really to talk we want to talk about it is how do how do we uh, consolidating a lot of templates within the site to get ready for the next step which will be covered on the uh, segment 10 which is uh, how to apply bootstrap jQuery to make the website pretty okay so uh, it's really the, here's what the, the problem is now this is the what we left out and uh, from the video segment 8 right so you can go to the page you can add the course right and then you go back and you can add the new category if you want to so they're all good However, if you look at the web, uh, the page itself, and let me let me make so side by side. There are four pages uh, templates really are. Uh, each of them, this portion, are the same. If you look at it, and also the top, static include right. This portion, okay. It's really this piece. This is really, if you can, if you think of it from a layout perspective, it's really like a footer of the page, right? It's the same thing here, okay? So, uh, you know, what we wanted to is to leverage the 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 uh, Django's concept that the template can be in, uh, inherited or extended. So, uh, what we're gonna do is to create a common one. And they have these pages uh, use that. That way, at least uh, you know we can keep this common one in one place. Okay. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a new HTML page uh, called. We're gonna name it as base. Okay. You don't need to say it doesn't have to be the the name has doesn't have to be base. You can see my base or you know the standard template or whatever you wanna call. It. So. Uh, okay, it's a HTML template, so it's a, a Django template. Okay, so now we have the the, the initial ones. Uh, let me let's just do, go through some of the design. So we have a body here, right? And then we have a footer here, and then we want you know have a title, a page title, right? So this is what we're gonna do. So we, we, the way uh, Django works, a uh, template works is they have a. Uh, something called the template Django template tag, tag language so this is what we do okay you, you we'll call it a block so this part is the content and then you do it in the block and now you 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 will see the, the the how this works okay once I get it done so we have uh, we defined a block which is the content which is this portion okay and we also define uh, a, a block called footer this is a, so we, we, we will place our where I, what footer is okay and in our case it will be here okay and then to make it a little bit more you know show the versatility of this whole uh, you know extending the, the template so let's just add it here okay so we'll add a, a tag here called title right and uh, the idea is you we can replace that with with our own verbiage right so so here you know default is rango okay so we got uh the, the baseline will look like this right and then uh uh because the footer so we already know what we're going to put it in right this portion the about and the picture so this is always throughout the, the entire site this is the same so let's just 
put this in here because again this is something you know we'll be able to use it it's going to show up everywhere anyway so we'll just put it in, in a base line, okay now we have the the base html design done right then let's do the next step which is use the other templates will extend that okay so what we're going to do is extend the ex you including the uh, base HTML to extend that template for the index HTML okay so the way you do this is actually the keyword on this is uh, is called it's called extend okay All right so what we do is we from here we say extend wrangle slash base now keep in mind remember we defined it in the settings the template the beginning of the template directory is sitting here so since your base is underneath of it so you would have to include the prefix with rango okay that's the folder name and base html so we're going to extend that and uh, we don't need it to have the body anymore because the body is already the te body tag is already defined here right all we need is to replace the the content oh wait a minute i'm sorry i made a mistake so this is actually is a footer i made a mistake sorry so this is the footer okay all right so basically so this is the footer now uh what we in the index.html we basically will be replace this piece with our own content all right so this is what we'll be replacing so all right because again it's one of the we defined this already right this is where we want to put our content in so all right so we'll do this okay so we'll have the block so this portion of it everything in here will be in here right so now uh, obviously we don't need the, the the footer anymore because the footer is already being been defined in here already right being defined. so that's what, what we really need now to make it a little bit more uh, to illustrate this page uh, frankly when you reload this nothing is going to change because the, you're just moving around we're just moving around the, the content to consolidate right but to to make it actually show it is you know different we, we can just add it here remember we did the title here right so we have a block title we can replace the wrangle with something else so let's just replace this with Say Rango Rango Catty Category List. Okay. Right. So now let's reload this page. Notice it's not here, right? It will just Rango and then when I reload, really nothing should change. But because I did replace the, the title with Rango slash uh hyphen you know dash category list this would change you can tell what is it and about do you forget to register static ah notice here i reference to the static tag right this has to be defined so i really needed to is actually I don't need the reference to static pass anymore so i need really move this to the baseline here okay so now if i reload it that's it right so now you see it, it just it really nothing changed we just because we just rearranged it to consolidate the common parts into the base html so but it, it, what you can tell is actually here right so the category list that the title i made a change to right so this cares, right all right so now we did the first one let's move on to the category okay so uh again 
the category pay templates right it is all loaded with the you know uh, repeated items since we don't need that anymore we can just replace that so we'll just replace this and then we'll ex use the base HTML and then I'm gonna just copy paste it because it's you know it's easier that way save the time so we'll do the here right and we want to change it those to just this is this is really is per category right so we'll, we'll change the title to that and then the body again we're going to replace the body right the body piece so we will replace the body so in the category we will replace the body and then and we'll do it in the block right we no longer need is the footer right and that's it so if I go to the category that's it right the, what you can tell is Rango the dash category you see right so that's what the you know the page I mean nothing's supposed to change because again like I said we just consolidate look at the it's a much more compact I guess that's the right word you know in terms of you know, after this reorg, uh, consolidating with leverage the common portion of the template, right? Now we're gonna do move on to do the course. Uh, add a, let's do category. So again, I don't want to type anymore. So we'll just add a category here. So we do the category, right? And we wouldn't be needing all of this. So let's just. We needed the body. That's uh, just again. I hate to. So we we'll do the add a body here. Replace the body with the. Right. Right. So now we got the this. The, now we're at the add category page. We, we can just take the same approach we did. We, well, let's change this. So make it a little bit more. So we have this, I will say add a category, right? Now, uh, again, we don't need that. We wouldn't be needing this, this anymore. Okay. So we will refresh it. We'll go back to the page, add a, a category. That's it, right? Nothing changed. The only way you can tell is here. Right, and that's what I made a change. Okay, now uh, let's do the last one, which is the course. Okay, now uh, this time around, I'm gonna do. Uh, I just thought something actually, it would be good to actually show the folks what, what mine look like. So let's do in the edit course, right? So I, I'm gonna deliberately leave the, leave the, the leave the footer here. See, I suppose to take them out because the. The base that already has this right okay but i want to see so we can see what actually happened right yeah. so we go to the category we're going to add a course all right so now when we did this right obviously it says it it couldn't find the static because we're referenced the stack it's interesting though you have to know now uh you have to uh one thing needs to be cleared uh in the Based on the Django tag language definition, the even though your base HTML included the static definition, the in extending of the base base HTML will not will not uh, it doesn't mean in, implicitly this the static also is being uh, included in the page that is ex try to extending the original page okay so if the page you say I extends it doesn't mean this already will have uh, the inclusion of that static so you would have to really if you really want to do this you would actually have to include it, this load static in the course okay in other words you have to explicitly define this static load static in the module you are in okay just because the extended uh, the the one 
being extended already included doesn't mean you are you can you don't need it in, uh, explicit load that either okay so just remember this right now if I do this reload it it won't complain but it will show two of them right so because again I'm doing this once here and then the the one I'm extending which is the base actually I already did the footer already so okay now I can see now let me delete this okay so obviously we don't need this all right okay now uh, we done so uh, we 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 did the achieved this by basic uh, by by base by just let me finish. okay and of course so if I do I want to go back to, to me so just want to make sure I'm adding a new course here add a new course right this is how you tell okay so I achieved the consolidation and by building a common one which is the base the HTML which group the the most common piece into one module and then uh, the subsequent module uh, template just extending that okay so that's uh, really uh, what I want to make sure we understand that this is the one of the technique we need to use in the Django uh, web development work okay now folks might say well other than consolidating a uh, type less uh, is there any really practical uh, advantage of it well one of the things I can just took a quick illustration is uh, now we look at this right this is the footer obviously this picture isn't just not good suit for the footer because the height is really too high okay it's too high so what we need to do is to uh, to to replace this with something else uh, I already have one so let me get that one so we're gonna put it in here right and now we what we need to do is to replace it right by by consolidating them this is I only have to do it once otherwise I have to do it all four pages so let's see you see right I want one pages to we only did it in a one template I just you know made the change but the, you know otherwise I would have to do it on all the pages okay so now our uh, templates is much more cleaner and compact so uh, we're ready to move uh, to the next uh, video tutorial segment number 10 which we're going to talk about the, how to use bootstrap and uh, jQuery and the other external uh, uh, presentation layers uh, tools ready-made and techniques as well to make the page much more pretty okay thank you for watching i'll see you on uh, segment 10 thank you